In this tutorial, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to create a break-even chart. What a break-even chart represents is the a point um, where the profit, sorry, to total income meets the total expenses, and that company has not made neither a profit or a loss. So it's broken even, being it's made it's on zero. So it hasn't made a loss in the company and it hasn't made any profit. So that's a break-even chart. So what we're going to do is create a break-even chart using line graphs. The first thing what normally people do is to create a profit and loss chart they highlight the profit and loss column no you don't need to do that because how do you work out the profit or the loss you take away the total sorry you take away the total sorry the expenses from the income so total income minus total expenses and that's what gives you a profit loss so what we're going to do is going to highlight those two columns as that's what's going to represent our profit or loss and whether we've made how much profit we've made, where we've broken even, and how much we've lost. Okay, so we're going to highlight those two columns. Then we're going to go to insert. This time we're going to pick a line graph. So the one in the middle, line graph. And you're just going to select which one you want. So you can pick a line like that. And as you can see, you can see the break, um, the break even chart creating. So the income line is actually crossing over with the expenses line. So once we've selected which one we want, we click OK. Okay, so here's our break-even chart now once again we need to give it appropriate title so we're going to give this title break even chart for January give it up across here okay so that's our break-even chart for January now January should be capital okay now if you notice um, at the moment this series one and series two, what's that? Um, shouldn't really be series one and series two. What, what should it be? It should be total income and total expenditure. So what we need to do is correctly um, change the names of those. So what we need to do there is click, click on this legend to highlight it. Click on select data. And now here where it says series one and series two, we're going to change that. So we're going to edit it. So series one, okay, series name is actually total income. Is that right? Yep, and click OK, and Series 2, edit that, and that actual name, if we just click on here, is Total Expenditure, or you can type it yourself, Total Expenses, okay, let me just type it myself, yep, okay, and so that's Total Expenses, so now that we've done that, I'm going to click on OK, so now if you look at it, the blue line represents Total Income, and the red line represents Total Expenditure, so there's our break-even point, that's where our that's how you create a break-even chart. However, we're still not done because what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last, if we look at our sales forecast, students go up in tens, so that data is actually incorrect at the moment. So how would we change that? We'll do the same thing again. Highlight those. Okay, go to select data, and where it says edit here. So at the moment you've got one, two, three, four, five, six number. We don't want that. We want them to go up in increments of ten. So what we're going to do is click on that red arrow highlight 10 all the way to 20 so 110 press enter click OK and as you can see now they've automatically changed okay so obviously we needed to label that side as well so with the horror sorry the y-axis so axis titles vertical I'm gonna give it a name correct name would be money in Pay some money in pounds, that's how much they've made. So that's how you create a break even chart. You can make it bigger if you want to represent. Uh, that's it, that's, a break, that's how you create a break even chart in Excel. So that's three different charts you should have looked at by now. So a pie chart, a break even chart, and a column chart.